Have you ever woken up in the morning and had extra $4,200 deposited into your Fundrise account? Well, that's exactly what happened to me on October 1st, 2021. The long time expected third quarter of Fundrise 2021 appreciation returns has finally paid off. We anticipated a huge third quarter for Fundrise, and just as I predicted, we came through. The biggest return in Fundrise history coming up. If you're new to the channel, my name is Trey, and I'm a crypto, stock, and real estate investor, as well as a swing trader. If you enjoy this content, please click that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's get started. So before I went to bed on September 30th, 2021, I decided to log in and check out my Fundrise account because I knew that the third quarter appreciation returns are gonna be in my account any day so i decided to check it and here's what i get so i open my fundrise account and i look on the upper left corner right over here and i see an additional almost fifteen hundred dollars on my account now i was so ecstatic because these returns for fundrise are amazing on the fifty thousand dollar portfolio you get fifteen hundred dollars in just one quarter in quarter three that's an amazing return but that was just the beginning of this whole story. Let's check it out. So in order to show you guys this, I had to take a print screen. So this is a print screen from September 30th, 2021. And you could see the time frame is 1.36 a.m. So that is right before I went to bed. Now, the next morning I wake up, guys, and here is what I see. Boom. This is what my account looked like on October 1st, 2021. So if you look, before I went to bed, it was at $54,452. And then when I woke up about eight hours later, it was at $57,706. Now, I was wondering, is this a mistake? What's going on? If this is correct, we went from $53,000 on September 30th all the way to $57,706. So in order to see what exactly happened, let's look at this chart here. This is the historical account value. On September 29, 2021, the account value was about $53,000. Now, just a day later, it's $57,203. Now, the other $500 that you see on upper left corner is my deposit from my bank account. So we went from $53,000 to fifty seven thousand two hundred and three dollars that is a forty two hundred dollar return in just one quarter in the third quarter so what the heck is going on i was expecting the third quarter in fundrise to be extremely huge i was expecting big big returns and mainly because we're coming out of the pandemic you know and then as you remember Anywhere from March of 2020 all the way to September 2020, the real estate prices have gone down significantly by 10 to 15%. But once the vaccine got developed and people started being more confident, a lot of people decided to move out of their buildings that they lived in, out of the condos that they lived in. They decided that now, they, now that they can work from home, they wanted to buy a house a little bit further away from the cities because they're able to work from home now. So the prices of houses skyrocketed from anywhere from 30 to 50 percent so i was expecting that increase to re be reflected in fundrise returns and i was correct so these returns are appreciation returns um if you're new to the channel remember that fundrise gives your returns in terms of dividends and appreciation now check out the videos in my playlist that i'm going to link up here and down below if you want to learn more about the differences between dividends and appreciation but but essentially the returns that we got here in third quarter Quarter is completely from appreciation the appreciation returns are returns that come from the increase in price of the shares of the e-reads and e-funds that you own and fundraise so in fundraise you don't directly own real estate right you own 
shares of certain funds, for example, interval funds or West Coast E-Read. Inside those funds, there are individual commercial or residential real estate projects that Fundrise acquires and then develops. So over this third quarter, they saw a crazy 30 to 50 percent appreciation increase in value of many of these projects inside these e-reads and the increase in price of those houses and commercial real estate directly leads to the increase in price of the shares of these e-reads i'm expecting about a 10 percent return per year and that would be considered a great year now guys on a fifty thousand dollar portfolio I already this year in 2021 I already have a sixty seven hundred dollar return a sixty seven hundred dollar return that's over 16 percent already and we're only just finished the third quarter we still have one more quarter to go uh, in 2021 the total return was sixty two hundred sixty eight dollars uh, in terms of appreciation but the crazy thing is that in a, in third quarter alone that just finished we got $4,200 because of these crazy price spikes that we see in real estate. Uh, they actually wrote an article here explaining what is going on and then just reminding you that this is a short term return, right? It's unlikely we're going to see it again. However, I am expecting that uh, that fourth quarter will be good maybe it's not going to be as great as the third quarter, but it's still going to be a great quarter. Now, guys, let's check out the performances here. As you can see, this is year to date returns. It actually um, it has each quarter, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. And as you can see, in quarter one, we got almost 2%. Quarter two, we got 6%. But look at this crazy spike in the third quarter. We went to 11%. We went from 5% to 20%. We went from 8% to 17%. You know, and we went from 7% to 11%. And these are crazy, crazy returns that fun rise has never seen before in the 10 years that they are a company this is the first time they've seen these crazy increases in the value of their shares um so what i want to show you guys actually i want to show you the actual shares increases um so as you can see here if you scroll down we can actually close this and you can see that the year to date return already so this is if you take quarter one quarter two quarter three you combine all the returns in those quarters uh in terms of um, shares which is appreciation it's 22.7 percent usually when you add all four of them up they add up to anywhere between eight and 12 percent but already after three quarters we're 22.7 percent that is why i am positive that in the fourth quarter we could at least get 7.3 percent return we will be at 30 percent year-to-date return for 2021 and that will be completely unheard of for the real estate uh, crowdfunding platform we're gonna make history and this platform is gonna completely pop off so as you can see annual returns again as you can see forget the 2019 i only invested for one day in 2019 you can see that in 2020 the overall return for the entire year even though there was pandemic going on there was price crashes no one was buying real estate um you know everybody was afraid to leave their house we still got a 10 percent return but check out 2021 we're 22.7 percent after three quarters hey i think that's a good deal um so again as i showed the chart before we literally spiked from about fifty-three thousand, and just overnight we're at fifty-seven thousand. Fifty-three thousand to fifty-seven thousand. that's four thousand dollar return now that is an amazing thing uh and another thing i wanted to show you here they actually showed in their article the actual uh, share price increase of their e-funds and e-reads literally in 90 days from june 30th of 2021 to september 30th 2021 so if you decided to invest in fundrise on june 30th or before you prayed uh, you paid an average price of ten dollars and 79 shares in order to purchase shares of the interval fund now just 90 days later it's twelve dollars and ten cents these other e-reads over here we have the east coast e-read it went from twelve dollars and 68 cents per share all the way to thirteen dollars and 68 cents per share uh let's take another random one here balanced e-read it went from ten dollars 24 cents to eleven dollars 63 cents so as you could see these crazy returns guys we have 
12%, 19%. We have 16%, you know, 21% over here. That is a crazy number, 21%. Uh, uh, these other numbers like half a percent or 7.9%, these are the numbers you would usually see for a quarter of appreciation, right? Because usually if you add four quarters together, they add up, they add up anywhere between eight and 12%. In this case, we're 22% for the quarter, and that is crazy. So that is why you see these crazy returns um, here. Um, and a lot of these returns come from appreciation of certain commercial and residential real estate that Fundrise has purchased and put into their um, funds and e-reads uh, in the Sun Belt region. So people are moving from these condensed cities like New York City and Washington DC or any city you could think of where the prices for a house are like in the millions and obviously no one can afford it, but people are too afraid to move out of there because their jobs are nearby and they had to go into the office. So so what happened was that people, instead of renting some sort of, uh, you know, buildings or condos where you just clustered with a lot of people, uh, decided to, hey, we're going to move to the Midwest because now people can work from home remotely. A lot of the jobs can be done remotely and companies are okay with it. So people are moving out to the Midwest because they know they can work from home. Uh, and uh, they don't need to spend millions of dollars to buy a house. They can move out to the Midwest. They can move out to Texas, certain parts of Texas, Arizona, Colorado, buy houses for cheaper, still keep their job. And, you know, they don't have to be packed in a building of like a thousand people in the same, uh, you know, square footage area that usually like 10 houses would be on. So um, that is what we're seeing. We're seeing these crazy returns. And it's an amazing thing. Okay, guys, so now I'm completely expecting that we're going to get at least that 7.3% return in the fourth quarter of, um, of Fundrise. And uh, it will get us to 30% return um, in 2021. And that will be completely unheard of. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the content, please check out my entire Fundrise playlist. I will link it up here and down below. You can learn a lot what appreciation is, what dividends are, um, you know, how do we earn them. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you're just as excited about making these crazy, crazy gains with Fundrise as I am in 2021. Take care.